Hi there, it's Tando and today I'm bringing you my 10 best study tips. The first tip is to shorten everything you need to study. You, some of the stuff that you have to study, you already know or by heart, it's part of your general knowledge at this point. Don't put your time in studying that. Make a list of all the stuff that you don't really understand or have time really um, memorizing and remembering then focus on that before the exam and I'm speaking about this because I am writing on Thursday I'm writing geography and that's not here because it's Tuesday anyway um, I, I just do my study session now so yeah um, make sure you shorten all your work into the only the stuff that you need to really really focus on then before the test now look over the stuff that you said you understand because then your mind will only be in the state of thinking about the work that you have been studying and then you're gonna all of a sudden forget everything else and then it's not gonna be cute once you get into the exam and you don't know what you're talking about to help you do this you can um basically just jot down everything you know and the stuff that you may have forgotten or the stuff that you knew about but you didn't really know how to elaborate on it or explain it um, that you is the stuff that you must highlight and focus on a lot guys don't forget to stay until the end of the video because that's when it's gonna be the ultimate the ultimate tip and that is then the 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 secret the formula behind pushing those Nazis is going to come out tip number two is active recall talk to yourselves key cards um ask people to test you ask you like ask your family to test you ask your friends to test you all of that good stuff because a revision test of what is going to get you to push that hundred percent and if you can't find past papers because i'm more i'm, I'm still grade seven so that's not really um, official government what i want to pass papers like as if you in like 10 to 12 so if you can't find past papers or practice papers that you can do make yourself a a, a, a practice test and that's when you ask people to test you to do all that good stuff my third tip guys my third tip stay away from this whole um notes aesthetic what i want to think because i'm telling you now speaking from experience once again this thing of focusing on the fact that Oh, you used to do calligraphy and highlights and pastels and this, this, this. You won't end up studying. You won't end up studying. Guess what? Let me show you something. Wow. There's no color up. There isn't any color at all. It's just work. There's no color up. Well, okay. This is my 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 braid cover. But once you look in, there's no color. Guess what? this is this color is for the subject so when i do a subject i do it in color but the actual work no color because there's no time to be focusing on colors and as much as i like doing notes in color and all of that i really do but the time to be doing this whole colorful wara wara aesthetic cream chest instagram kali tiktok kali real tiktok notes is not gonna work because even if I post my notes, it's not like I'm like, hey, let me not post this because there's no aesthetic towards it. And that's the thing. You must stop worrying about aesthetics. Get the information into your brain, pass the grade with good marks and keep it pushing. It really is not deep, you know. My fourth tip is having a designated studying area. This thing of studying on your bed has got to stop. That's not good. I don't care whether it's a kitchen counter. No, don't do the kitchen counter because the kitchen is supposed to be associated with eating. You need to really associate different areas of your home because the kitchen must be associated with only eating. The Your bed must only be associated with sleeping. That's why I recommend get a desk or a dining room table or before I had the, this table in my room, I was using my mom's table where she, where she does the sewing, stuff like that, you know. Or maybe if you have an extra dining room that you know and uses, go in there to do your work. But don't do this this whole studying thing on your bed. Don't do it on your bed. Please, if, if there's one thing, even if you can't afford a desk, if there's one thing you must not do is study on your um on your bed. Don't do that because th those are your marks. Your marks will be great. My next tip is setting designated study time. 
me from four until five. Well, I started filming video at five because I wanted the the light, whatever light you can get because it's, it's sunset now. But anyway, from four until when I can push the studying to is my study time, you know. And then in the morning also sometimes I, like like on Thursday when I write the geography test, I will wake up at five o'clock because normally I wake up at six. But then on Thursday I probably will wake up at five. But now don't leave all your studying until the day of the test. Now, currently I'm I'm already working on the test and what where, and the studying that I'm doing. How and then Thursday morning is going to be looking over everything and you see Thursday morning is when I'm going to look back at the stuff that I said I already know, make sure I question myself and ask myself if I already know the stuff. Look over everything, speak to myself because it's it, like talking, speaking out loud is very important for studying. Like you have to be like, yes, Kasana, this is what UNICEF stands for. Like you have to be doing all of that, you know? Yeah. That's what you do, by the way, on Thursday, on the Thursday, on the morning of the test. You know, it really is difficult to be so good in this world, hey? Actually, I can't believe it. Also guys, I haven't been counting how many tips I've done so far. Well, I, I did start counting and then I did start counting. But anyway, if it doesn't add up to 10 or if it goes over 10, which I doubt it will. But if it doesn't add up to 10, oh Layla, oh Layla, oh Layla. Mm. That's such an old song. Anyway, but it was good. It's, it's a good song. So excited. Bottom line, guess I know. Then guys, for you last minute people, and I'm saying you don't last minute people when I am one of them, um, don't do the whole video call with friends because we all know that you're just going to talk about random stuff from school or wherever you guys meet up every day or weekly or I don't know, whatever. Don't do the video call thing with your friends and whatever, whatever. However, me and my friends from school, since obviously we're studying the same thing, obviously, yeah, well, then what we do is everyone does their studying prior or maybe some of you guys don't do your studying prior but everyone does their studying prior then on the day of the te of the test exam whatever in the morning you come to school early yeah but that's the best day you make sure you come to school early then you quit you ask each other questions you know yes yes you just go up to any random person in the grade yeah but you're like what is this yeah but, and everyone does it like whether we're friends, whether we're not friends, everyone does it, you know. Um, and that helps you a lot, even though sometimes you're like, I don't know, it's a very low, However, um, it does help because sometimes you realize that some of you forgot to study and you're like, eh. and then sometimes you help other people. Yes, we are giving them the marks, but then also sometimes it comes up, comes back to us. But the next tip will also help you make sure that doing that doesn't just improve other people's marks and not decrease yours you know yeah this is not a study tip but we in that exam obviously you can't do this for maths or like stuff like that you, yeah you can't do it for maths however when you're in high studying high um work load exam for exams for this type of subjects like geography natural science science natural science whatever um history um big subjects right technology you know where you have to really explain explain the way the signer elaborates a uh, go past your the way the lines you know the lines that they put in for you to write continue with your own lines there go past that elaborate elaborate because when you are writing an exam you must speak and write not speak Right, as if you ran to someone who doesn't already know this information because when a you may think oh, gee, no those things are two 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 marks and i've already said two points but the point that you think is obvious is the point that will get you that two marks and when now you're gonna get one mark no we really mustn't be doing that guys come on guys come on i can't teach you guys everything like no my next tip is two hour study sessions at a time max because this thing of you guys studying at four for four hours and then suck more forty percent of the protein, it doesn't really make sense. You would much rather study for two hours and make sure that in that two hours you are energy efficient. I'm talking 
I'm talking natural science language now. You are efficient and effective in what you are doing and you make the most out of those two hours. Then stretch it for four hours just to make it seem as if yay when it was serious and call it when you actually aren't, you're just making it four hours of not really retaining the information just so that it can seem to others and to yourself that you actually did something productive. So make sure Uti in that two hours you, you get everything done. Have study breaks. That's what I'm trying to get with this. Study breaks are important. Yes, sometimes you study for one hour, all of a sudden it's a three hour study break. I do it too. I'm guilty of it. I'm not gonna pretend like I don't do it because I also do it. However, try avoid that but make sure to you are studying you are studying um effectively and efficiently however giving yourself breaks and have stuff outside of school play hockey play soccer i don't know swim i don't know go plant plants in Enviro club that's what i do that's what i did today and then i came home and i studied and now i'm on a youtube video this is part of my study break it's not part of my study break it's just part of my hobbies outside of school you know have hobbies outside of school do things have a life outside of school don't make your whole world revolve around school because then it's going to make your mental health in up now as much as my term two report was beautiful the way i got those marks was very much so toxic and i won't be doing that this term because no it was not cute how i got those marks the process and the amount of studying and the um shortage of study breaks that i had in those term two in the term two exam season was not beautiful it wasn't cute at all and i will never do that to myself again my last and final tip i mean cause please for my sake get yourself a study book i only started doing this in term what is this oh in term two um, however, I do wish I would have started in term one because that term to report was looking beautiful. Anyway, get yourself a study book. Like, do, like mm, the importance of study books in your life is actually out of this world. Get yourself a study book. Um, that's what I was saying earlier on in the video that um, whenever I do another subject, you see the subjects. Wait, let me get an example. But here, yeah, the subject I did in orange and then I put in pink revision test because this is where I do all of those revision tests, guys. Don't do it on exam pad. I was pushing exam pad for a long time. Don't do it on exam pad. Have new stuff all together. As much as I had um, um, this file where um, this is where I, I don't do, I used to put all my revision tests and all my school work in here but then i just um they uh, really use the, the file of the purpose for the purpose of what we got it for i got this file back in grade five yeah we've been pushing it for a while um yeah so that's why i just put all my papers now like letters that we get from school um stuff i get for market day stuff like that anyway moving on what i was saying was that have all the stuff in a study book. Make sure we clear. How's that dish on this one? This is always there. Anyways, guys, love you loads, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Material girl. Master mission. Yo, you know, you see, it's cool. They all sing that song at the same time, and they all, Master nice mission. I'm sorry. I'm just here to. Stop it. Stop it. Really, grow up.